Uh, for this video, we're going to look at the blogging and social media efforts of Tooth and Nail Records, which is an independent record label. And if you look here on the website, uh, they don't do a blog as a whole, but they they really focus and highlight blogging for every artist that they have on the roster. So if you scroll down, the first spot you'll see it is right here. There's a tab for blogs. And when you click on that, it shows the most recent uh, blog updates from the artist. When you, when you scroll over, if you look at the very bottom, you will see the address which has the name of the artist, which is Children183 uh, or 183. And as you click on each one, you can see that at the bottom it's for different artists. And so these show the, the most recent updates for the artist blocks. Also below that, there's this really nice block for band blogs, recent band blogs. This one is for the, the letter black. If you click on the tabs, you'll see for different uh, artists that they have. We'll go back here to the letter black, click on read their blog. And what's really interesting and I'm not sure if I like it, is that the blog is all located in this small little location right here. And then everything else on the page is about the artist and, you know, kind of their main artist page. But the blog is, is, is located in a very small spot. And for this artist, there's only one blog post. And I noticed that for a lot of artists, so I guess this is really uh, a new new thing that they're doing. If you click on read more uh, it'll show the entire uh, blog post you know in that small area. Uh, if you go back to the the main page click the blogs go down to this one and click read on and you'll see that they have actually several uh, blog posts and of course click reading more will show you the full blog post. So that's that's how they do. They really focus on each of the artists, or it seems like a new thing, but they're focusing on each of the artists having a blog post. We'll go back to this one. Look at their social media efforts. On every single artist, they include the social media links for that artist. Like for uh, this, this band, here is their Twitter profile kind of given a uh, Twitter feed for that band. If you click on Facebook, pulls up their uh, landing page and as you can see they've the they've created a custom landing page with it also where you can play some sample tracks from that artist and share those tracks. So they seem to be doing a decent job as you can see they have over 18,000 fans on Facebook. So it seems like they're doing a fairly good job for their artists as far as blogging and social media. But what I, I noticed on the main site is I, I couldn't, scrolling up, scrolling down, could not find links for the record label itself having social media connections such as uh, Facebook or Twitter. If you go over to Google and search for Tooth & Nail Records, scroll down, this is the only place where I found a link to uh, the record label's Facebook page, their social media connection. Clicking on that, uh, you'll notice that the landing page is a holiday promotion from back at Christmas 2010. So it seems they're not really uh, keeping their own Facebook page up to date with promotions. Uh, back on their website, there is one thing that I thought was interesting as far as digital uh, media and marketing that, that they are doing. They have just released uh, a Tooth & Nail Records uh, iTunes and Android app. So you can have everything from the label, as they say, at your fingertips. So they are focusing on mobile apps as far as their uh, digital branding for the record label, but they are not really doing social media connections for themselves.